planning on doing your HGV license? Or maybe you've just passed your heavy goods test. Maybe you're a little bit unsure of how to secure a load. Unsure of working time? Driver's hours? Or maybe you're unsure how to hitch up to a trailer. If you're unsure of any of these, then why not check out the all new revamp for 2023-24 essential new trucker's handbook. It even gives you advice for passing your LGV driving test through to your, from your medical, uh, through to your theory test, gives you all the questions on your theory test. Even if you've been driving for years, trust me, this book will update your existing skills. It's the essential new trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green. Links in the description. Check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Hello, everybody. How the devil is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. Uh, you join me um, not long after the last video. It's probably the next day, actually, I think. Remember, yes, just after the next day. And you join me in Runges um, Market in Paris. As you can see, all around it's dark. It is currently oh, half past ten local time, so it's half past nine at home. And uh, it's my first full night shift tonight. Um, <coughs> I'm going to be starting uh, 11 o'clock local time. So I thought, well, I'm going to be doing a couple of drops in runges. So I thought, why not do another video, show you the runges run. Um, and I got uh, another six drops outside of runges market as well. So I'm going to be working all the way through the night. Um, the last couple of drops, um, are two Costco's. Um, so they're um, not actually markets, but they're, uh, they're, they're shops. Uh, so I'll be delivering to two Costco shops as well, but they don't open until 4 a.m. So um, the five of us here this weekend. So I've been talking to uh, Ollie and Steve here. Uh, they showed me around this morning. I've had a walk around because uh, I got here yesterday afternoon, as you'll have seen from the last video. Um, well, you can see the truck over there. There she is. All getting warmed up. Um, yeah, so I had a walk around this morning and uh, it's a bit chilly tonight. It's a bit cold, hence the old bottle hat. Um, <coughs> yeah, I had a walk around this morning and they showed me uh, the different places. Now, I've got six drops in here, uh, but it's only three, hopefully, maybe four, dependent. Um, the first one, uh, three of my drops come off from the one place. Uh, let's get back in the truck, it's a bit chilly out here. Nice and warm in here. There we go. Oh. Brr. Bit chilly out there. Um, I haven't got the uh, the camera with the microphone on at the moment. It's, it's by there. Let's see. Um, but yeah, I've been here since yesterday. Uh, oh. I've had a bit of a snooze. Uh, um, I got up this morning. I think it was about half past eight I got up this morning. Um, got back on the bunk about six o'clock. Um, had about three hours sleep. Uh, so hopefully it should be okay for the night. So basically I'm ending up, I'm doing, as I said, I got six drops in here, uh, but hopefully it should be three, maybe four. Uh, depends, because the last one I've got, last but one I've got in the alley, might take the rain of one that I've got uh, around the other side. Um, but if they don't, uh, apparently it's going to be hit and miss sometimes they don't get there till 2 a.m. So that could put me behind um, But we'll wait. We'll see. Hopefully I'll get the uh, the, the rainer one off uh, in the alley with the other one and then I can head out I uh, got a couple of drops around Paris uh, And then uh, heading out a bit further ones a bit further south um, And then I gotta go down to Costco, which is a bit further south again, and then the other Costco then is further north and then once I've done the drops, uh, heading up to I'm Belgium. Listening. Well, don't be listening, nosy person. Um, yeah, once I've done all the drops, um, heading up to Belgium, then into Ardui, drop the trailer in Ardui, park up, and then uh, back on the days then Tuesday morning. Hopefully then I will have something to come back to the UK, uh, tip out the UK on Tuesday, uh, maybe Wednesday morning. I don't know, depends on what I've got. Uh, and then I'll be heading back to the yard because I'll be going home Wednesday night 
uh, for my father-in-law's funeral for Thursday. So I don't know what the plan is for that. Um, I could be off Thursday, Friday, and then maybe come back to work on Saturday and work right through the weekend again next weekend. I don't know or whether I'm gonna be going back in Friday and then going home for the weekend. I'm not sure yet, but we'll soon find out. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, say good evening to you all and uh, you come with me on this run, just run. Uh, as I said, a couple of them are, uh, are local. Once I've done here, a couple of them are local. Uh, local area in Paris around Rungis and a bit further out uh, and then I head out a little bit and then head north for the last drop um, and then up to Belgium then so yeah you're gonna come with me for the run so hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah get myself sorted and, uh, and we'll be on our way see you in a bit guys doodles all right then here we go Get round to our first drop. She's just around the corner here. And see where we go from there then. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a queue round there, I should imagine it will be. There's one of the other boys over there. Bumpy. I've got to be honest, it hasn't seen that many trucks have gone. Oh, there's a, there's a few queue in, yeah. Basically, just got to wait for a bay on this one, I think. How many have I got in front of me? Three. So, hopefully it won't be too long. Depends how many, uh, how many pallets each one has got, I suppose. It's literally uh, just around this corner here, and the bays are just behind there. So, this could be um, a bit awkward to film, because I'm going to be stopping standing all the time. But yeah, just wait for uh, wait for this queue to go down, and then uh, we can crack on. So yeah, hmm. see what happens, is it? See you in a bit. Doodles. Okay, I haven't got the uh, camera facing me on yet. Just so I quickly put it on. I'm not waited long, about 15 minutes. Seems to go down pretty quick. Get myself on this bay. I've already opened the doors.
get this first lot off. See you in a bit. Doodles. Okay, first drop done. This was uh, relatively painless. Um, next one is Lunadja, which is around the corner. So I haven't even got to shut me doors for this one. It's literally just around the corner. And hopefully, there's not going to be one on the bay. There's only one bay at Lunadja. remember where it was now. Around that way. I can't remember what it was now. or coming off. Coming off for the look of it. I get that because this wall's on the way. So let's try a little bit further up. off the road I think and I'll get round just check on the wall Yep, 
I'm all good on that side. It's a bit of a mare, isn't it? is a bit of a mare. Again, see how much room I got. Ooh. Boys did warn me about this one.
all this for one pallet. What on? Blimey. I'll, um, I'll take him up and show you that one now. Um, take this front one down. Uh, oh. Unplug it. Ooh. Paperwork. Right. Can I open my door? Just. Oh. Put the side lights on so I got light in the trailer. Oh, have I show you now? Look, I don't know if you can see much, but it's right at all angle. You got to get it because you got all that there. You got to get the right angle to get into there. But I'm in. So all I got to do now is find out where I take the paperwork to. Oh, that must be the door up there. Right then, let's go sort this out. I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Hey guys. Right, I'm on the last drop. They wouldn't take the Rainer in the last but one one. So I've got to wait. Gone into Rainer's. There's no one there at the moment. There's that truck waiting over there as well. So there's two of us waiting for the people to come into Rainer. So I don't know how long I'm going to be here. It's uh, half past one now. Um, hasn't taken the first two drops were great. No problem at all. The first three came off on the first one. And uh, as you saw the second one, I was I was in and out of there, no problem at all. And then uh, went round to the alley, and the alley was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Uh, waiting for ages to uh, get seen to start with. Then I had to put it onto a bay. Uh, then I had to wait for someone to come over and, and take the one pallet off. So it's been a bit of a nightmare. Um, but just gotta wait for this rainer one now. So this uh, hopefully won't be too long. Um, as Ollie said, sometimes they don't get you till about two o'clock. So say it's half past one now, hopefully uh, they won't be too long and, uh, and I can get these two pallets off and I can crack on with the rest of them then. So just have to wait and see, won't we? It's just my luck. I was hoping that they'd take it off over there, but no, not having any of it. So. Here we are, gotta wait. So let's see what time I get out of here. <laughs> see you in a bit. Doodles. Right, done. It's the last one in run just. Ah, better come over to the right a bit though. So when it got gone left from the uh, from the bait, so I've had to come out right so I can shut my doors. Of here now. Oh, it's a bit chilly out there. Minus one at the moment. So I've got my next one in. It's uh, the biggest delivery, eight pallets. Uh, After 200 yards, go straight on, then bear right. MTC. And the next one after that then is literally just around the corner from it. And it has just gone five to two now. So I'm out of there. Right, gonna come down the alley. Bays on your nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Roundabout and take the second exit. 
Poor old guy there, don't know his name. Turn left, um, then go left on the roundabout and take the second exit. He, uh, <coughs> he's got hanging on and uh, he had a pallet on which had to go down the bottom and then he had to come back up then for the, the hanging and uh, he's still there waiting by the look of it. I got it on Google as well now, so hopefully it should take me straight to it. I'm in a sat nav. NTC, meat trading company may be closed by the time you arrive. The second exit. It says on um, Google it don't open till half past six, but apparently it is open, so. Right, let's turn this light out. Let's see what I'm going from here. Yards, go left on the roundabout and take the third exit, A86. So, go around the roundabout, yep. Yeah. Take the exit, A86, then left. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. <laughs> just concentrating, it's all dark and I haven't got a clue what I'm going. So I'm just hoping that these don't these maps don't let me down now. So I'm going around there. light does help if you stop on red lights bad <laughs> ah, so a bit further on down here I gotta go right Sticky up bits in the middle of the path there. Make sure I take that nice and wide. Does look closed. This doesn't look good. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go ring the bell, see if there's anyone about. All right, let's see you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Okay, that's the next one done. Forward a bit. Close the doors. Back in a tick. Oh. Right. That one done. I'm going to leave my coat on and my hat. Next one's two minutes away, just from the corner. It was open, by the way. <laughs> Self tip job. And just had to wait for him to check it. So. Right. Probably lift that axle now. Yep. Right, so we're going right here. Good. And the next one is literally just around the corner. You can see I got it on Google, I've got it on my sat nav. So I know I'm gonna be alike with this, just for using Google. Tell you what, it's cold in these places because they're all fridges. God, my hands were getting really cold in that one. One good thing about, I suppose, about <laughs> delivering this time of the morning is that there's no one around. on the net rather than just side lights switch it to side lights so I've got light inside the trailer see how easy this is to get in now according to Google it says I got to walk in Back of the trailer on the uh, floor there, the tea bat. Right, let's go see if there's anyone around in this one. Oh, right, see you in a bit. Doodles. Hey guys, right, 
I was more or less in and out of that last one, about 10, 15 minutes or so. And uh, I'm heading to the next one, which was 19 minutes away. And I'm now six minutes away from it. Left, 120, then turn left. That last one was pretty good, actually. It's only the one pallet. Uh, this one's one pallet as well. I think they're all one pallets now. Um, <clears throat> Got the Google on as well, but that um, keeps telling me to go different ways. <laughs> so I'm just following the nav for the minute because obviously after 300 yards, turn left. The nav is for the trucks, so I don't want to be going somewhere that I'm not supposed to be taking a truck, which is quite possible using the old Google. So I'm literally 1.2 miles, four minutes away now. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm glad this is an overnight job so the roads are a bit quieter. Stop at these stop signs. Good. Waiting to get in somewhere. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Speed them. Just like parking anywhere. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. It's now quarter to four in the morning. I don't feel tired at all, considering. I only had uh, three hours sleep. I thought I might be struggling overnight, but I think it's where I'm stopping and starting and getting out and getting cold. <laughs> and that's keeping me on my toes. I got a feeling the next one after this one is gonna be a little bit further. So they've all been relatively close. This was the furthest away. This is 19 minutes away from the last one. So just have to uh, 
Once I've done this one, we'll see how, uh, how far away this last was. Last, last one before we get to the two Costco's. So I know the Costco's are going to be open because as I say, it's quarter to four now. What held me back really was the, um, the one on the alley. And, I, 100 yards and I'm waiting for uh, and take the first Rainers as well. Then you have reached your destination. So the Rainers one was uh, Cross the roundabout there about an the hour. Exit. Then you have reached your destination. Reached my destination. After on the left, up smack on. After 100 yards, you have reached your destination. Yeah, I'll go and see them, see where they want me. All right then. Whew. See him. Let's go and see him, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Toodles. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Um, couldn't record on the last two because my microphones decided they were gonna die. Um, made the mistake of leaving them on. So at the moment I haven't got a microphone on that. So it's just the external mic on the camera itself. But I am at the first Costco. It is now, uh, what time is it? Quarter past five. And uh, the next one then is 44 minutes away. So I've got uh, one truck in front of me here. He's waiting to tip, there's two on the bay. So the one's coming off for him to go on and the other one that's coming off for, will be for me to go on. Um, the drop before this one, uh, I was in and out, two pallets. I was in and out the other one as well. Um, can't remember what I came back to on that one now. Um, but yeah, the last two tips were really, really good. Uh, in and out in about 10, 15 minutes. So that wasn't a problem. Um, so now it's just a case of uh, waiting for a bay here, taking my one pallet off, and then uh, heading up towards um, Combolt. I think that's what it's called. Something like that, anyway. Uh, but it's another Costco. Um, if I left now, I'd be there for six o'clock, just before. So hopefully I'm gonna be there for about seven, I would think. Um, looking at the delivery times here, it says delivery times between four and eight. I should imagine the other one will be the same as well but I want to try and get away from here so I don't catch the traffic on the periphery because I think I'm gonna have to go around the periphery to uh, to pick up where I'm going to um, uh, let's have a look Come in front of me on the map Eighty-six. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the periphery and then pick up uh, eighty-six for the eighty-six onto the A4. It says is the one that is on the other route there. It says something about that one. Don't know what that means, but there you go. Uh, so A4, A4, A4 all the way. So it's the A86, A4. Um, come off the A4 onto the N104 follow the 104 all the way down and then hook a right onto the D604 
and then uh, it comes up on the left hand side so we'll go around, same as this one got to go down to a roundabout turn around come back up again to turn into the um, to the area uh, so yeah so just a case of waiting now Let's see how long I'm in here for uh, hopefully not too long and then uh, I can crack on with the last one and then once I've done that I can get up to our Dewey uh, which should be a couple of hours away I should think uh, so I'm hoping I'm gonna be parked up by about 9 10 o'clock maybe not quite sure uh, what the distance is between where I'm uh, tipping in the next one and then up to Belgium so we will see on the next delivery but hopefully um, before I get to the next delivery I can uh, talk to you while I'm driving that's why I haven't switched it on because you wouldn't be able to hear me when I'm driving uh, the sound would be really really bad so uh, they're charging up as we speak so uh, hopefully we're about halfway through now so hopefully I can get that sorted ready for the next drop and I can take you into the last drop with me and then uh, I can head up to our Dewey uh, so yeah I haven't gone too bad so far a um, couple of delays just put me back about an hour to what I wanted it but there you go there we go um, so it looks like the one's gonna be coming off now well, you see we start his engine up so I presume he's gonna be coming off in a minute for him to go on and then when the other one comes off I can go on so turned up at the right time because I got another three behind me now so <laughs> timed that quite well I think Right, let's crack on with it, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Toodles. daylight my goodness gracious me um, yeah apologies I didn't record going into the second um, Costco completely forgot I was concentrating so much on where I was going completely forgot to put the cameras on do apologize uh, so I did a little time-lapse coming out of there because uh, I was on the phone to Claire Claire rang me as I was leaving Costco so I thought rather than not record at all I'll just do a little time-lapse so uh, that was leaving Costco and I am now on the A1 heading north. Um, hit a little bit of traffic uh, around Paris uh, on the 184. Uh, got a bit of a delay on there, uh, just sheer volume of traffic and there was a breakdown as well. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. So at the moment I am due to get to our Dewey uh, in two hours and 36 minutes. It was four hours from Costco. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to need to stop because I need to use the facilities so I'm going to stop for 15 I had a break when I came out of car for, um, car for I get car for from Costco um, I had a half hour there because I had a 15 on the way down so I had a half hour then when I uh, when I came out reset my time <clears throat> so I had a full four and a half to run up to uh, Dewey uh, but I'm going to stop now for 15 so I can go and use the loo. Uh, we are 19 kilometers the next one, so I'll probably pull into that one. Uh, so, yeah, that was the Runges run. Uh, apart from a couple of holdups in Runges itself, um, saying that I was held up on the last Costco as well. It was 50 minutes before I actually got on the bay. They had four bays there, and I only using two of them. 
Uh, so yeah, it was 15 minutes before, 53 minutes before he actually got on the bay. And that was another 25, 30 minutes in there then uh, for one pallet. So, but I didn't mind because obviously it was just finished there, just head up to our doing and pack up. So that's what I'm doing. Due to get there, as I said, it says 12.34, but uh, it's probably gonna be more or less, I don't know, one o'clock-ish. So that'll be a 14 hour day, because uh, the cat went in at 11 o'clock last night. Feeling a little bit tired now, I gotta be honest. I uh, don't think three hours sleep was enough. Um, but I'm okay. Uh, once I, I get out and have a walk as well, then that'll wake me up a bit more. Uh, if I do get too tired, then uh, I will pull over and uh, have a bambi nap for a half hour. Um, but I've got to be careful there because I've got to be in Ardui today. And uh, <coughs> I've only got until 2 o'clock, so on the 15. So hopefully all will be good. And a little walk around the services will, uh, will brighten me up a bit, shall we say? Um, sorry I didn't get all of the, the runges in, uh, but I was just watching what I was doing and, and everything else and I just thought, yeah, cameras on, cameras off, cameras on, cameras off, it was a bit much really. Um, so at least you saw some of it, saw a little bit of it, uh, me struggling to get on that, um, that one bay, uh, but that was a strange old angle that was, but uh, I'm sure I'll get used to them once I keep doing them. Um, the alley's a nightmare. But, yeah, as I said, it's my first time there, so I'll get used to it. I'm sure I'll be there a few more times now in the next few weeks, months, whatever. So, just get used to it, don't I? It's what you're used to. It's all a bit um, daunting when it's your first go somewhere. So, especially with something like Runge's Market. Uh, but everyone was as good as gold there. Even with the, you know, with the delays, they were still good as gold. No attitude or anything, it was really good. So I made it, uh, made a nice change. Um, let's say majority of them, I was in and out. You know, a couple of pallets. Um, was it five pallets on the first one, something like that? Um, I was in and out of there, one pallet. On the second one, I was in and out. Uh, third one, I was in and out. And the fourth one on the alley, uh, delayed a little bit there. And then um, I had to wait, obviously wait for Rainers to, uh, to get there. Um, they turned up a quarter to two. So good job really, that was delayed a little bit in, uh, in, in the alley. I didn't, I didn't have to wait so long then for, uh, for Rainer. But it's done, dusted, 14 drops done. And uh, now empty, heading up to Ardui. So I'll drop this trailer off and then I'll go park up. And uh, that'll be me till tomorrow morning then. I don't know what time I'm starting, but um, I'm sure I'll get a message later on from Toby or from Nick, one of the two. Um, but a big shout out uh, goes to Steve and Ollie, who were there with me yesterday, showed me round. Big, big shout out to, to Ben the Breeze. Uh, uh, gave me a lot of advice via message because he's down in Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic. Um, so he gave me a load of advice and showed me where to go and on a couple of the drops and what to do with a couple of the drops. So thank you, Ben. Very much appreciated, mate. Uh, and again to Ollie and Steve, thank you for the walk around yesterday uh, to show me where I would be going. So it's perfect. Um, so I think I'm going to call it a day on this one. I uh, don't, don't think it's going to be too much of a long one. Probably about 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes maybe. Maybe not even that, I don't know. Um, but uh, I've got a couple of videos uh, in the bank now. Uh, I've got the second part of Saturday's vlog to, um, to do. That's doing okay. Um, so I've got the second part of that to edit up. Uh, if I might do that this afternoon and get that up for Saturday. And then... Um, I'll probably edit this one uh, over the weekend sometime for next Wednesday then. But I'm a, I'm a couple in front now. So uh, it's a good, good job really because obviously I'm off on Thursday. 
Um, still don't know what's happening there. I don't know whether I'm off Thursday, Friday and coming in for Saturday. Um, or whether I'm coming back in Friday and having the weekend off. Because it's going to be my long weekend off this weekend. Uh, whereas obviously only had a 24 off. This week just got the weekend just gone. So it's going to be my long, long break next weekend. So whether it's going to be Thursday, Friday, or whether it's going to be th uh, Thursday off and then have the, the weekend off as well. We shall just have to wait and see on that one. Right, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you are watching and you're not subscribed, then why not contemplate pressing that subscribe button and press the old bell notification, ding dong, and uh, get notifications when my videos come out. Um, don't forget to check out The Breeze as well. Check out Ben. Check out his channel and have a look at his uh, his videos. Um, he puts some good videos together. And if you like what you see, go and give him a sub. So, uh, I think that's about it, really. And, uh, yeah, that's me done and dusted. So, I've got two hours and 28 minutes now to get up to Ardui. So, not much uh, longer to go. And, uh, and I'll be parked up. So, whatever you're doing, guys, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Toodles.